Management Society is in inclusive of any business professional who wants to join an organization that is focused on moral and ethical values and high business practices. We include anyone. It doesn't matter what school you went to, it doesn't matter re what religion you are, where you're from, what country. We want to include anyone who wants to join and be a part of this. The BYU Management Society was founded in 1977 by then Dean Merrill J. Bateman who was dean of the Marriott School. And the vision was to have an organization that was not strictly an alumni group, but was an association of business people all over the world who shared the common values that are espoused by the Marriott School and BYU. And it's a wonderful community and has grown over the years to encompassing uh, chapters in about 18 different countries. Being from the Management Society, there was no doubt in my mind that I had the advantage. It was, a, it was a very heartening thing to be able to say, where did you find the posting for our job? Well, I'm a member of the BYU Management Society. To associate myself with this institution and with this society gave me an advantage that I think really came into play. Uh, the, the BYU Management Society or societies is one of the proudest uh, uh, crowns or uh, jewels in the crown of the BYU Marriott School. It's just dynamite. It's it's rocking. It's it's something there that that they. I wish that that 40 years some, ago somebody would have told me that. Now we are in a possession to tell that story to the people, and and that's why I believe in the future and the mission and the vision of the Management Society. There is the potential for us to be a very unique if you could say guiding light or shining star in a world where ethics have become less important, where character and morals and honesty have been less valued in so many parts of life we see it uh, in our society, that the BYU Management Society stands for ethical moral leadership and we're helping to promote that throughout the world. Some people use the uh the difficulties in their lives uh, to obtain things in the wrong way. So if our, our goal is to teach the people in Costa Rica that if they are moral and ethical in their lives, they will receive the help that they need, but not in the wrong ways. The moral and ethical leadership and opportunity for professional association in the Management Society is invaluable regardless of your profession, regardless of your vocation, regardless of your alma mater, and that if a person values moral and ethical um, integrity in business and in personal and professional life, then the Management Society is a great way to, to have those values reinforced and strengthened. Dean Hill came up uh, a while ago, probably uh, a year or two ago when he talked about the cost of ethics, the lack of ethics. Uh, uh, Rixa talked about this today in her presentation, the cost of ethics in our society and how you have litigation and lawsuits and paperwork and uh, all this regulatory pieces that are out there because of the lack of ethics and thievery and some other things. We've seen the cases made off in others. Um, and when you take a look at what, what the society and those foundational principles of moral and ethical leadership, and we talk about that in business, that resonates with customers very, very well. The BYU Management Society was a perfect avenue for giving back to the community and giving service. Um, I liked the ideals and the, the moral values that we shared, and uh, it just felt, felt really good. I believe that succeeding in the management world at, at any level uh, requires relationships, and the Management Society gives, you, gives the, the participants an opportunity develop relationships, to make networks, helps them career-wise, helps them professionally. I think, that, I think it's hard to measure those kind of benefits, but they're absolutely there. Well, I think the BYU Management Society globally, as well as what we're doing in the Arizona Management Society, can really help people with professional preparedness. As I kind of got stuck a little over 10 years ago, not knowing which way to turn, and sitting in that corner and not wanting to talk to anyone, this allows people to meet a friend. One of the benefits of being a member of the Management Society is having a built-in network of friends, not just people you might see on Sunday, not just people that you talk around the water cooler Monday through Friday, 
but people who are like-minded, who have the same principles in their lives, and are just trying to help each other get along as they go through their careers. The BYU Management Society has many things uh, to give to the people. One thing that I uh, really keep in my heart is the opportunity to be uh, in touch with people with high values, high moral values, and, and people that share the same goals than me. I think for me that um, there are many wonderful benefits of the Management Society, but to me it's been the relationships, and, and to a lot of people that I guess is networking, but to me it's been deeper than that because um, not only is there networking as we understand it in the business sense, but the depth of relationships over the years that I have built and the friendships that I have cultivated with people not only in my local chapter but all over the country and all over the world have been amazing and I know that there are relationships I never would have cultivated or even been introduced to without uh, being part of the management society. I, I would encourage anyone who wants to network and network in a very sincere place, in a very sincere way, to get involved with the society. Um, it's always good to build your network before you need it. Management society makes a difference. It makes a difference for you personally to be involved, it makes a difference in what you do for other people as you become involved, for your communities. Uh, come and be involved. Uh, it's a great place to be.